the Predator, Francis Ngannou, Anthony Joshua. Cannot wait. Francis Ngannou versus Anthony Joshua. Two behemoths collide. Anthony Joshua, two-time world heavyweight champion Francis Ngannou, UFC. So a nice long left hook, Ngannou, with a lazy jab to the body. He's into attacks as well, really fast actually, Ngannou. Yeah, well balanced. Anthony Joshua, gonna slide him with that front foot when he throws the jab. Spring shot. So a pawing jab, left hook there from Ngannou, blocked by AJ. Ah, good right hand to the body as well from Ngannou. Straight. Jab from AJ. That was a good jab from AJ. Could he AJ needs to try and draw out that lead from Ngannou. Just taking that right hand on the left glove. Just taking. Honestly, he really does shape up well as a boxer. Ngannou, well balanced. From a focus. No! Oh, AJ touched Two. him. And he went down. Three. Four. He's hurt. Let's see if AJ jumps right on him. Be confident and paid the price. What a stunner. Got another no, no, right hand goal now, Anthony Joshua. Faced in Ghana. Oh, we got clipped himself there, yeah, Joshua. He did. With the left hook on the. But I thought Ghana was having a good round up until that point. He was. He was. That's a, nicely. That's a proper turn from the core, right through the target. That's a lovely shot. Look where the front foot is as yeah, well. It's, so it's, good. It's, it's, it's behind the front foot of Ngannou. It's exactly. about the importance of driving through, not just touching, but driving through with the shot. Yeah, but it always, it always stems with the UFC. Patient. Patient after the important. Important. We've seen him not rush in, no need. Big, big round for Andy Josh. And he's got a knockdown here in round one. Already doing something Fury could. And higher, AJ. You can see every time AJ throws a jab, and Garnu looks to throw the left hook. Fighting on every face. Yeah. And that left hook, left hook is there for AJ. We talked about how comfortable Ngannou looked in that first round compared to against Fury. Maybe he was too Came just after his oh. to southpaw. And again, that right hand from Joshua lands. Not quite as clean. Joshua's well aware of the power of Ngannou. He's been heavy. Why that right hand? He's in oh. the oh. Look at that for a shot. Wow. Right on the side of the temple. I mean, there hand is the biggest shot I have seen live. That's what a right hand that was. Incredible. Until he landed with the right hand. That's a look, that's a lovely shot. Wow, that's a great shot. Nobody stands up to that. We're about to see is the biggest right hand I've ever seen live in a boxing bat. I mean, that's the first one. That completely took the leg. You can oh! He was throwing at he, the, the first step he took, he knew exactly what he was going to do, Anthony Joshua. There, he wasn't having a look, he knew what he was going to do. He, he walked just... over, cracked. That's a, as clinical a punch you will ever see in your life. Ah! Incredible! What a shot! And it got him out. Wait, look at that for a shot. Wow, right on the side of the temple. I mean. There and is the biggest shot I have seen live. That's what a right hand that was. Incredible. He knew what he was throwing at. He, the, the first step he took, he knew exactly what he was going to do, Anthony Joshua. There. He wasn't having a look. He knew what he was going to do. He knew what he was throwing at. He, the, the first step he took, he knew exactly what he was going to do, Anthony Joshua. There. He wasn't having a look. He knew what he was going to do. He walked over, cracked. That's a, as clinical a punch you will ever see in your life. Recovered. Yeah, great to see that Ngannou's up. But he just rode, walked over and he went crack with the right hand. That was truly stunning power. From Turn from the core, right through the target. That's a lovely shot. Look where the front foot is as yeah, well. It's, so it's, good. It's, it's, it's behind the front foot of Ngannou. Exactly. That's to see is the biggest right hand I've ever... Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, following the second knockdown in round number two, at the time of 2.38,
Referee Ricky Gonzalez waves off the count and instantly calls a hold.